Good afternoon. My name is Peter Ripley, and I welcome you to another edition of Video Chat. And I'm also running for City Council position 2 here in Port Angeles. And today's edition, first before I get into today's edition, I want to congratulate all the, the uh, Macaw and, and all the tribes in their festival, their canoe racing and, and their journeys. And I hope that uh, all is well, and I hope all those uh, participating uh, fare well in their pursuits. And I must, and I applaud their, and I applaud that because it shows our culture, our background, and it shows it shows the Native American culture and background, and it shows a little part of history. But on today's to today's edition, in today's chat I want to talk about the jobless rate here in Point in Pound County. As you recall earlier this, earlier this week the Peninsula Daily News put forth a report stating that the jobless rate went up went up actually went up nine point six percent. Nine point six percent folks and and here we are in the middle of the tourist season these figures should be going down you would think what happened to our tourist season what happened then you should have you should have people should be finding jobs yes I'll tell you what's I I think what's the, the problem is is tax increases yes you have to you have to factor in supply and demand that's true but they the, the, they those who just cite that only cite these things because they want taxes to go up. They want it to continually go up. So taxes to go up. Well, in my book, in my um, in my um, limited view, my limited knowledge of economics and businesses and business, <clears throat> when you are your taxes go up, utility rates go up. You tend not want to spend too much on supply. You tend not want to hire out more. So, it, does it really do any good to continually raise taxes and ha and have area businesses not wanting to hire out more, and also having to continually dig the bottom of the barrel to 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 uh, to support our basic needs such as our social services, our police and fire. And repair our streets and roads. Does that really make any sense? To continually raise taxes when you end up having to, to, to beg, you end up short on cash to fulfill your basic requirements. It doesn't make sense at all, folks. None at all. Again, I say this again. If I'm elected, I will advocate for this moratorium on tax increases for the next two to three years. In my opinion, this will help stimulate the economy. This will help area businesses may want to hire more. This may help tourists want to come here more. Again, our this year's tourism trade has been lackluster. And you got area businesses confirming that. Area and I see on the postings on the Facebook page area businesses are confirming my my posting on the Facebook which by the way I broke my 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 exile from the PDN Peninsula Daily News Facebook page because my opponent he broke his signs on the Facebook page so I in turn put a few post ups myself to see where you know just, just give a good balance here Anyway, I intend to go, I will go back on the Peninsula Daily News Facebook page from time to time and make comments. But the thing is, I wanted to make a comment about that, that jobless rate to point out, here we are in the middle of the tourist trade, high taxes, and people are wondering why, why we're doing so poorly in our economy. Again, I ask for your vote on November 6th. Thank you very much for watching this week. 
I'll see you next week. Thank you very much.